everyone, it's Zot Rider here and welcome to another week in toys. Um, and it's been a funny old week. Uh, normally payday week is is the one where I receive, well I place a load of orders and they start to arrive on a Wednesday or Thursday. And yeah, I, I, it's been an odd one because of PulseCon and the pre-orders and everything like that. I haven't actually received any product yet to be honest. I've spent a load of money, um, but I haven't received any product yet. Um, so, um, for those of you who haven't checked out that about 40 minute long video where I talk about Paul's kind of what I've ended up ordering, what I thought I'd do is I'd just recap what I managed to get. Um, so, first and foremost, I managed to get the Mandalorian Armour exclusive figure. Um, I ordered that actually on Friday. Um, I think it was Friday. Um, from Comics and Cocktails. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting that one. I have just... uh, Also on Friday, I pre-ordered the Prime, a Breakdown and Viacon 2-pack. Uh, really looking forward to getting that. Looking forward to building the Marms Microns. And uh, yeah, um, apparently that should be shipping around the 8th of October. So that might be here for the week after next. I'm hoping that a few of these will actually, actually arrive next week. Um, so yeah, I picked up that. Uh, then it got to actually Monday this week and I spoke to you about the debacle I had trying to get my Quintus on Pit of Judgment. Um, and I missed out on it at that point. Uh, but I did manage to pick up the uh, Wampa exclusive from Comics and Cocktails. And from Star Action Figures I managed to get the Heroes of Endor set. Which I'm really, really excited about now. I think, to be honest, it's probably the boy of the... A boy of the convention that set. Looking at it and the quality of it, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, then, uh, uh, so then I, I owe a thanks to, to Mr. Borders, dude. Um, later on, on Monday evening, he messaged me going, I've managed to find the quitness on Pit of Judgment on this site called SH Andrews Hut, who mainly st specialises in Star Wars stuff. Never heard of the site before. They had a deposit option down for 5% for... Um, for November release, it says. Um, so I, I thought, you know what, for the sake of the deposit, I might as well put it down. I know I haven't heard of the site before. It looks legit and everything like that. Um, so, you know, I, I've put the deposit down for that. And I, I have finally managed to get my hands, well, hopefully we'll manage to get my hands on the Quintus on Pit of Judgment. It was only a couple of pounds more than, than in demand toys that you have to pay for the postage on it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I have got it, even though the... The excitement for the set has been waned by the experience that I had uh, trying to pick it up on Monday. So fingers crossed, touch wood, some point in the next couple of months, I should get that Quintus on Pit of Judgment. And that's going to trigger, as well with the Heroes of Endor set, probably some changes to the displays behind me. Uh, I'm thinking about creating um, a Return of the Jedi, what village, maybe a diorama of it. And also creating a, a, a um, diorama of um, the... The scene in the movie with um, the Quintus on shot, the cons hot rod and cup falling into the, the pit. Um, so yeah, I managed to get one of those on pre-order and I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. Um, some other news, uh, I have paid my pre-order for my best guy Mandalorian at, at uh, Kapow Toys. I think I paid it about a week ago now. I haven't had a shipping notice or anything like that, so I'm hoping that will arrive at some point this week. Uh, and today I've received notification from Amazon that my two-pack of... Lifeline and Ratchet, the Siege exclusives that originally were available in the UK uh, for shipping to the UK that are now available, have been moved forward from mid-December to actually next week's shipping. So that shocked me a little bit. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get that exclusive pack in next week, which is great. Um, now, I have ordered a toy for now. I have had a shipping notice for it. Um, because basically this week, I have I've bought all this stuff. But none of it's going to arrive just yet. I don't know if it's going to be next week. I don't know if it's going to be next month. All I know is some point in the future I will get it. And at least I've paid for it. Uh, the majority of items anyway. So you know what? That's good. But I have ordered a toy that I've been wanting to pick up for a while. Uh, and it will fit in with my Heroes of Endor set. So I'll leave it at that. And hopefully it will arrive this week. And we can talk about it in uh, in, in this episode of Week in Toys. So today is Thursday the 1st of October. And I've got a parcel from uh, Comics and Cocktails. Um, but I'm a little bit worried. Um, the item that I've had shipping notification for is a Star Wars Black Series figure. And this is heavier than a Star Wars Black Series figure. Um, in addition, I'd actually ordered a toy 
for my mate James, Sam 1980 on Twitter. Um, I pre-ordered a Quintus on and then I managed to get one from Smith, so he wanted it, he paid me for it, so I had it shipped to his. And that is arriving on the same day as well. Um, and I've had notification that his has arrived and and obviously my parcel from Comics and Cocktails has arrived. But I'm worried now they're both in the same box because this is not a Black Series figure and I've received no other notification. So I'm opening it up. The only thing I think it could be is um, uh, one of the um, PulseCon exclusives that I ordered from there. Um, but I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. I'll open it up now. Okay. So... <laughs> It is one of the PulseCon exclusives I ordered. Now, I haven't received a shipping notification for this. They've just basically put them in the same box. So, I'm not bothered about that. It was just I was really worried that I'd got a Quintus on in there. Uh, so, the first item I picked up was Little Tebow. Oh, I've got a Tebow. Um, looking forward to this. I picked up this one simply because of... Um, well, I've ordered that here as a Vendor set. And I wanted this one... Um, that's another rewalk. So there you go. So that is really cool. I like these new boxes. So I've picked up him. I reach chief, did you see when I smashed that stormtrooper's heat in with them two rocks? It was proper mint. Hi, I did. It was I reach that leg, but it wasn't as good as when I smashed that at ST with them two geek big logs. Did ye say that? Oh, I tell you, it's thirsty work, this forest warfare like. Oh, wicked! Go to the Aldi and pick up a new crate of that continental French lager. You know, the cheap stuff in the small bottles. Oh, Chief Trooper, man. Why is it always me that's going down to the shop? I'm sick of going to the shop. Oh, how are you, man, Wicket? Different be your miserable git. We've just defeated the technological terror that is the Galactic Empire, using nothing but sticks and stones. This calls for celebration. Oh, man. I knew I should have went and live on Kashyyyk with Chewbacca and the Woodies. <laughs> And in addition, I've also picked up, um, this is a really odd shaped box, it is the Hoth Shiny Shiny Wampa. Um, so this is the, the Black Series um, Wampa in a nice box, and it is a really nice box even though it is an odd shape. Um, and uh, yeah, it is to go on my Hoth display. It is. Even though it is in a vintage Kenner style package, it is an exclusive. Uh, it's a remake or a reissue of the one that was released a while ago in a two-pack with this Luke figure, if you can see it there. Um, but that Luke is getting an archive collection release next year. So, yeah, I managed to, to get the one pack. So I, I'm happy with that. That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that just yet. Um, as I say, I didn't think I would be getting... Um, any of those exclusives posted anytime soon so it's nice to get one within a really a couple of days of getting one so there you are so what a cool little uh, cool little first toys of october so today is saturday the 3rd of october and i've ventured up to burton upon trent and i've had a look in my favorite shop toy master um or Mikko Toys. Um, it's not actually. It's, I think uh, Toy Masters now just a franchise, and I think Mikko own two shops: one in Derby and one in Burton upon Trent. Um, so anyway, um, I went looking for dinosaurs for my son, who's got recently into that, which is pretty cool. He's actually got out all of my old Jurassic Park toys. He's been playing with those, which is really cool. Um, so we don't and looking the entertainer. We don't go in there really and buy much from there usually because he's been into Pokemon. And they don't actually stop Pokemon. Um, but uh, they did have some dinosaurs. And he picked up these little gripper things. I'll, I'll try and put a picture up if I can't find them. But they were Jurassic Park. Um, I went looking to see if they had a rung or some of the wave... Is it wave 2 or wave 3? Battlemasters um, from Earthrise or Siege. Now they didn't have those in. But they did have um, 
and I've already got this one. I didn't buy it. They did have these in. I think they only had the Octopunch and the the other one. I forget his name. The Bat one. Um, all of those are packed away apart from Little Bludgeon there. Um, but that that was in which were pretty cool to say. Uh, they did have like Earthrise hoist and all that kind of stuff. But then they did have some Star Wars in there, and I was shocked. So they had the um, the deluxe Luke Skywalker and Yoda figure, which is really really cool to say. And then they had loads of like these discounted figures, um, the the six inch ones, and I forget who they are, but they're from the it was the guy the the guy who double crossed um, Finn and Rose. I forget his name. Him. There was loads of him anyway. But sitting in front of them was this. And I was like, oh God, this is amazing. Um, Admiral Akbar. Um, it wasn't a trap going in there after all. Um, yeah, so I found him in the Entertainer, which is awesome. And really, I mean, from this wave, I do want to get the Stormtrooper. I've already picked up Wicket. Um, Wicket. Tebow, the, the walk earlier on, as you've seen previously this week. Uh, and the one I really wanted to pick up and not miss out on was uh, was Admiral Akbar. And he was there for £20 in Smith. So I think it was actually nineteen ninety five, 95 um, But they charge you 5p for a bag, don't they? Cool box. Cool artwork. Um, yeah, so I picked him up. Um, and at that point, after that, I did venture down to um, Toy Master or Midco Toys. Um, and here's what I saw. close to picking up those those two um, Micromaster Transformers but they had a load of them in uh, and I thought well maybe that's something I can get next time um, I did pick up something there was a load of Star Wars stuff but there was none of them that fit my new criteria which is Mando Empire Return of the Jedi well basically original trilogy and Mando but Star Wars I'm not really too fussed on um, because I prefer the other two films and I've got a little Star Wars display and I'm kind of happy with that so it's mainly Jedi, Empire and Mando and they had none of those in um, I am I am probably in for the new Chewbacca that's out I think that's in Smith's and there's also a Darth Vader so I probably will pick up those at some point but yeah I didn't pick up any of that Star Wars stuff but I did pick up a Midco Toys exclusive in fact I picked up two uh, these are not individually out in the UK until January I believe Smiths are going to start stocking them but up until this point in the UK I think only Kapow have had the full wave in and these were sitting there £15 each and I thought why the hell not I've picked up the new uh, He-Man line um, so you saw some of them on the shelf um, you didn't see He-Man because I picked him up now, unfortunately, this one has got a little bit of QC. His paint isn't the best here, and we've got a little bit of plastic flush in there, which I will try and shave off. And it's all right. It's not too bad. I sold my original He-Man not so long ago um, because it just I just didn't enjoy the figure. And what I'm actually finding now with vintage toys is I enjoy the vintage toys I had when I was a kid, and it's mainly Transformers. And I'm on the odd Star Wars thing and everything like that, but um, it's mainly... Transformers, I've sold some of mass stuff, but actually I much prefer this figure. It's kind of what I remember from the cartoon rather than the, the toy itself. And it's got it's got the essence of the toy. Um and uh yeah it's great. So this was fifteen quid. It come on a card which I've since absolutely destroyed. 
um, which um, I don't really care about, to be honest. Um, it got soaked. It was raining. This car got absolutely soaked. So I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna rip it open. And it, one thing that's quite cool about this, it comes with half of the sword, like the original toy, which is really cool. And it also comes with a mini comic, and I'll show you all this because it's not very long, and there isn't many words in it, if any at all. So there you go. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's some cross cells on the back. Now, uh, you saw they had a battle cap and they had Scareglow. Scareglow looked really cool. And they had Orco as well. So I think they're from the actual second wave. I didn't see any of the other waves. Uh, wave 1 figures. Except for... You can't have one without the other, can you? Picked up Skeletor as well. Um, and you know what? I'm happy happy to, to have him. As you can see, you can see the price on there, fourteen ninety nine. Um I'm probably not going to get any more of these, to be honest with you. I only wanted the He-Man and Skeletor. Um, that's enough for me. Um, the Scarego did look pretty cool. The Man of Arms looks cool. Um, but I don't need them. Um, you know what, here's a package, so it's really, really nice. Unpunched as well. Both of these unpunched, how cool is that? Want to say something? <gasps> I've punched it. Oh no. Oh no, people are having a fit. Uh, let's open it up. It's the same comic, uh, Beast. Oh, is it the same comic? That's interesting. Because this one hasn't got the title on there. It's the same comic. That's interesting. So there's variants out there. There you go. I've probably got a rare variant. I've just ripped open. Oh, well, uh, let's get old Skeletor out. There we go. And there's Skeletor. Pretty, pretty cool. It looks really good. The right balance between toy, the toy design and the aesthetic of the cartoon. I think these are really, really cool. I like his face paint. And it comes with a couple of weapons as well, which come in a little baggie behind. Um, that was a bleeding nightmare. Okay, so we've got his staff. Let's get this in his hand. So there, Skeletor has his staff. That's cool, isn't it? That's really cool. I can't see much QC um, issues with him. It's just on the He-Man, but they look really cool together. And of course, you can take both halves of the Power Sword and you can put them together and make... Full on sword, hang on. There we go. How cool is that? So he man can now have his power sword, um, which is really really cool. And got on his back like so, or in his hand. Uh, one thing I will say about this is the shield design isn't the best. It clips in his hand like so, and then over his arm. Well, that's going to cause paint wear and, and all of that, and it doesn't stay that secure. Um, but skeletal here. Really, really cool. And you know what? For, for 30 quid for the two, um, I'm not going to dive in and get any more of these, I don't think, unless I see some cheap or there's one that really catches my eye. But I think it's enough to just have these two as my Masters of the Universe representation. So, yeah, pretty cool. Happy to have picked those up. Um, so it's been a really cool week. Um, still haven't got any shipping notices for any of these bloody uh, exclusives that I've pre-ordered, but hopefully, fingers crossed, um, those will come through sooner rather than later uh, and it's going to be a bit of a, a surprise each week what arrives because I've got so much stuff paid for now that I'm just waiting to arrive I mean even Earthrise Blue Streak I've paid for him and he's due in October um, so we'll see what happens but um, yeah until next time I've been Zork Rider and this is another 